So the, the queen mates one time um, over a period of three days in which she mates with as many drones as possible. She's indiscriminate. The more aggressive the drone, the better chance she has. So they'll mate with anywhere between 8 and 20 drones. The more the better because the genetic diversity is is uh, better and if she's mated with that many drones the chances are real good that her spermatheca is full and that she'll be productive over her life. So the drones aren't just necessarily from her hive they could be coming from all over. They're probably not from her hive. Mm -hmm. um, the, yeah they come from all over to these what they call what is called a drone congregation area where it's at who knows? They leave every day around 11 o'clock in the morning. They go to this drone congregation area and they hang out until about 4 o'clock in the afternoon and then they come back. It's like they, going to a bar and picking up chicks. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> and you get the Africanized drones that are more aggressive than the European honeybee, then the chances are they're going to mate with the queens more often and better. So is it that they smell the pheromone from the queen bee oh, yeah. to attack her or oh, to mate with her? Yeah, they, they, they seek out the pheromone they when she's up in the air? Yeah, and that's what she's there for. The, the trouble is, is the absolute second that they mate, he breaks apart in half and dies. And so... Literally? I mean, how... Literally them? breaks in half. The, the act of honeybee ejaculation breaks him in half and he dies. Uh -huh. So that's why they say the life of a drone isn't all that great. 